Christine feels trapped by husband's laugh, Sister Wives' drama unfolds. Christine Brown from Sister Wives opens up about feeling imprisoned by husband David's parking jokes, sparking a public feud. In a raw confession, Christine reveals her struggle to cope with life after Garrison's death. But the drama doesn't end there. Robin's past actions come into focus as she faces potential regret over her self-centered behavior following Garrison's passing. From pushing family relocations to undermining relationships, Robin's actions might have lasting consequences. As Sister Wives' secrets unravel, fans are left wondering, will these revelations change the dynamics of the Brown family forever? Welcome to The Gossip 24, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Sister Wives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Christine feels captured, does hubby's gleaming armor fade? After falling in love with David Woolley, Sister Wives star Christine Brown has been living on clouds, but she now understands what it's like to be imprisoned. Furthermore, this TLC series star claims that her spouse makes fun of her for it. Sounds awful, doesn't it? Not really, considering the larger picture. Yes, her spouse is making fun of her and making her feel stuck, but that's what comes with being pampered. Christine Brown's sister wives step one at a time, Christine Brown is well known for her car confessions. She either sits in her car by herself and confesses something, or she makes these confessions while driving. To keep the Sister Wives fans informed, though, that is the main goal. These admissions typically have a light-hearted quality to them. Christine is currently coping with the fallout from Garrison Brown's death together with her huge family. Thus, returning to the daily grind is difficult. She's trying, though. The mother of six sister wives claimed in a recent video that she hates getting out of bed in the morning. Her desperation is too much. She also argues for herself in response to criticism from some admirers that she posted online too soon following Garrison's death. She clarified that using social media is a part of the work she must do to maintain her forward momentum. Supporters swarmed to the comment area expressing complete agreement with her. She then published the confession post about her husband, David Woolley, a few days later. And the sight of it electrified the supporters. Christine airs her first public feud with her spouse. Christine goes on camera to vent about her new husband, probably for the first time in public. Fans of Sister Wives remarked that she appeared exhausted, which is understandable given the seriousness of the family tragedy. However, Christine's subsequent remarks appear to illustrate how this mother of six sister wives is striving to recover following such a significant setback. The beloved traditional Christine Brown carried on despite appearing a tad worn out. She begins by describing to her sister wives fans how her husband David backs her car into the garage in the peaceful seclusion of her own vehicle. This is convenient for her, the next time she leaves, she can drive out of the garage more easily. However, his parking habit also frightens this recently wed woman. Sister Wives, David Woolley's Trapping of Christine David puts his wife in the passenger seat when she drives. He backs into the garage just fine, but he brings the car's passenger side dangerously close to the wall of the garage. Christine Brown so claims to feel imprisoned. Then, to make matters worse, he laughs it off and gives her a little jab. Therefore, the wife of Sister Wives feels trapped by David, but only in relation to his parking job. Even the most uninteresting things in life can be made intriguing by Christine Brown. This is only one instance of how she ingeniously twists the mundane chore of parking your automobile. However, based on her own statements in her article, the famous Sister Wives star feels stuck, and her spouse makes fun of her for it. Actually, though, David makes light-hearted jokes with his spouse when he parks too near to the garage wall, making it impossible for Christine to get out of the car. 
With her most recent car confession, this well-known face from the TLC reality series manages to make her admirers happy. Above all, though, it appears as though Christine Brown's armor is still shining when she looks at her husband. The next update for today. Eight Ways Robin was the greatest heartbreaker, her life will be changed by Garrison's death. Robin Brown might feel bad about severing the sister wives cast following Garrison Brown's passing and regret her previous self-centered behavior. After Garrison Brown's untimely death, Robin Brown from Sister Wives is anticipated to become a better person. The mother of five welcomed her first three children with her ex-husband, David Preston Jessup, when she was in her 30s. She eventually met Cody Brown as a result of the relationship's unfortunate failure to work out. Robin joined Cody's family in 2010 when she said yes to his invitation to polygamy and wed him in an exquisite ceremony. Robin agreed to be sister wives to Cody's three companions, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. While Cody adopted her previous three children, she welcomed two more children into their family. Robin became one of the matriarchs of the Brown family when she married into Cody's family. She made an effort to get to know all of his other children, even though she wasn't connected to any of them, including Janelle's son Garrison. The ex-military man was a remarkable person. Regretfully, Garrison died on March 5. On social media, the family members shared the heartbreaking news and expressed their grief over his departure. But Robin didn't post anything, indicating that she is likely extremely sad and feels bad about what she did in the past. 8. Robin Brown Desired Secularism At first, Robin assumed to adopt polygamy. Robin has demonstrated over the years that she is not as nice as she initially made herself appear by doing a number of unexpected things. Her objective was polygamy when she joined Cody's family. Robin went so far as to say that marital plurality had a direct bearing on her decision to join the Browns. But Robin's character underwent a radical transformation following her marriage. As a result of her beginning to isolate herself and her lack of encouragement for Cody to interact with the other wives, he ended up breaking up with Mary, Janelle, and Christine. The sister wives and their children suffered unintentionally when Robin betrayed them. 7. Robin Brown displayed aggressive passivity. Robin finds it hard to feel sadness for the Brown family members. One of Robin's worst qualities is her passive-aggressive attitude toward every circumstance. She presents herself as honest at all times, yet when she fools others, she harms them. Robin has the option to ask Cody not to melt Mary's ring. Many admirers believe she probably urged him to do it, though. Robin enjoys pretending to be the sweetest person and cries over minor arguments. Her lack of tears, as seen by observers, indicates that her emotions might be flimsy. But maybe now that Garrison is gone, she won't be as conceited and will be more understanding of Janelle. 6. Robin Brown Acquired Control of My Sister Wife's Closet Robin was unable to make my sister wife's closet work. Even though Robin might not be directly to blame for the Brown family's misfortunes, she is notorious for stealing my sister wife's closet and wrecking it with her lack of enthusiasm. The sister wives cast opened a distinctive store a few years ago where they sold jewelry, watches, and other items. As the brand's proprietor, Robin forbade Mary, Christine, or Janelle from taking part. Robin was consequently left entirely in charge of the store's success, which ultimately resulted in its closure. Maybe Robin learned the importance of cooperating with her sister wives from this event. 5. Cody Brown was pushed to relocate to Arizona by Robin Brown. Robin turned a lot of Brown family members' lives around. Up until 2010, the Brown family had a peaceful existence. Nevertheless, when Robin began to meddle, things were different. She persuaded Cody to relocate to Flagstaff, Arizona, which resulted in a number of arguments and a whole upheaval of the Brown household. 
Even though Robin had good intentions, like wanting to give their younger children a better environment, she radically altered their family's life and disregarded their sentiments about where they lived. She could regret moving to Arizona, though, after witnessing Cody lose Garrison. 4. Robin Brown has a luxurious home, but Janelle was impoverished. Robin allowed Cody to make fun of Mary by proposing to build a barn dominium. Fairness within the Brown family was unimportant to Robin. She made sure she got to live the best life possible in addition to becoming Cody's favorite wife. Although Robin was aware that Janelle wasn't as affluent as she was, she didn't take any action to encourage Cody to show her the same level of consideration. Ideally, it was her responsibility to keep the family feeling equitable. Robin led a luxurious lifestyle while the other women struggled. Neither did she protest when Cody attempted to force Mary to relocate to his barn dominium. 3. Robin Brown advised Cody not to spend Christmas with his older sons because she didn't want Cody to mend his relationship with Garrison. Robin often crosses lines and makes things about herself, even meddling in Cody's interactions with his children. With Gabe and Garrison among his children, Cody had a tense connection during the COVID-19 pandemic. A Christmastime family get-together might have provided a chance for everyone to make amends and get closer. Regretfully, Robin kept Cody from talking to his elder sons. She later accused the boys of not wanting to visit their father, but the opportunity was lost because of her choice. Robin might now feel remorse for what she did because it kept Cody and Garrison apart. 2. Robin Brown began to voice her concerns about Cody. Robin believes she is the only member of the Brown family going through hardship. Cody had personal reasons for splitting up with Christine, Janelle, and Mary. Robin didn't have to step in and try to turn the incident into an opportunity for her. Seen as the victim, she voiced her thoughts about Cody and his previous spouses. Robin grumbled about Cody and lamented the other wives' departure, implying that they didn't value polygamy. She said she was on a Cody coaster, giving the impression that he and his past wives were to blame for her misery. It's possible that Robin may finally realize she wasn't the real victim after Garrison's untimely death. One Robin Brown acted as though Mary, Janelle, and Christine were important. Robin doesn't care enough about herself. In Sister Wives, Robin has revealed herself on several occasions. She was quite excited about polygamy when she first joined the Brown family and wanted to follow her husband's lead. Her disregard for Mary, Janelle, and Christine, however, indicates that she did nothing to guarantee the happiness of everyone in the family. Robin never developed a close link with them, which is unfortunate because if she had really thought of them as family, she would have. Robin's recent family tragedy will undoubtedly cause her to regret her arrogant behavior. She did not make sure the Brown family lived in a happy environment. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Sister Wives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.